I don't think I've vlogged all day today and it's almost 11.30 at night um, and I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. But we spent the day just catching up on things that we didn't do because we were sick with with the vid. I almost said the C word. Um, YouTube doesn't like that. Anyway, um, we got the Christmas cards done. We got the eggnog made. We got a bunch of stuff done. We had the house got cleaned, yay. Um, laundry, all that, all the stuff, all the things. I did get a lot of knitting, pro I mean, sorry, crochet progress done on my sweater. Vid brain is a thing, you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's all well and good, but I just didn't film anything, so I apologize. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. All right, guys, we are, yeah, I'm wearing one of my new sweaters. And my leggings are not black. Go figure. Um, we're getting ready to go out and run a few errands while we have the energy to do so. We need to run by the hardware store. We need to run by the post office and mailed all the Christmas cards that we finally got put together last night. And we had stamps for everything except one. So we're gonna go do that today and a couple of other random quick errands before we have lunch, so yeah. things are falling over because of course they are. Anyway, we're going to go get that done. And then I've already gotten the vlog edited and um, uploaded and scheduled all of that stuff. So that's done. I'm going to work on my sweater later this afternoon. And yeah, I think the next time I make the sweater pattern, I might crochet in the round I mean, I'm already doing that, but crochet in a spiral. That eliminates the join seam, because no matter how careful you are, you can see where the row ended and started, um, which is okay. It's on the back of the sweater. I, I don't see the back, um, but I think I might try it the next time, just doing it in the, I think it's a good idea. So anyway, refining the pattern as I go, because why not? All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I'm vlogging at 11.30 at night. I have no idea. <laughs> Second day in a row. Um, I tried to do a little vlogging this morning, but the clips weren't good. Uh, we started off by going to the post office this morning to mail all the Christmas cards. Uh, we usually do them the weekend after Thanksgiving, but we got sick, so I just went out now, which is fine. We usually mail them too early. But the line at the post office was down the hallway and I like around the corner and just completely insane. And they only had two clerks four stations, but only two clerks. It was nuts. I felt bad for the ladies behind the counter because there was just so many people there. Anyway, um, we ran a couple of other errands, things that we forgot to do the other day, and then just came home and just chilled at home. Bob fixed the mirror inside that cabinet right there because um, one of the clips holding it in broke, so we went to the hardware store and he fixed that. Um, I spent the day trying to finish my sweater, which I finished. I'll put a picture here. Now, the original pattern is not mine. I will link it down below. Um, but I have made it so many times it was way past time for me to make notes about the pattern in my crochet notebook. This is the sweater that I started that book for. Um, so I had a version, my version, that fit me really well, um, inspired by her pattern. So I have that now. Um, now, of course, the next thing is I have two sweaters that don't fit super well, but I, I kind of like them. So am I going to frog them or leave them? And then I want to try to take this pattern and make it into a cardigan. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm going to take my meds and get ready for bed. Yes, I take my medication at night. Anyway, I'm going to do all that, and I'll see you all in the morning. We have Junior tomorrow, so yay. All right, I'll be back. Uh. Hey, guys. All right, so Thanksgiving, we got sick. We're supposed to do Christmas on Friday with all the kids and my dad. Only some of the kids are sick. I don't know if it's a cold or the vid or we don't know yet, but anyway, 
We're gonna go drive around and look for Christmas lights now, cause why not? I mean, you know, it's something we like to do for the holidays and we usually do it earlier, but we didn't get a chance before now because we have been recovering, so. Well, hopefully there won't be very many people out. Yeah, let's hope not. All right, especially cause it's a Tuesday night, so. All right, we'll be back.
Okay, guys, good morning. I think it's still morning. It's 11.30. Yes, it's 11.30. We are currently at Barber Foods in Portland. Um, Barber, I've really... It was International Foods or... Something like... World Market. World Market. Barber World Market. I'll link their website down below. Really great spot for international foods. Um, they have a lot of Spanish, Greek, um, Italian, actually. A little bit of German. Um, so really good. Still haven't found a place for raviolis, although they did have a, a four cheese one that looked decent. Looking for a traditional meat ravioli. Anyway, different story. We're out obviously buying some specialty foods for the holidays. And yes, I'm wearing a sweater I made and I've already gotten asked about it once. And last night I had my blanket coat on and I got asked about that. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, it's all good. In fact, last night the lady wanted to know where I bought it from, said I didn't. So anyway, we we have to, we've already bought one stolen just now. We need to not buy any more stolen. We've got another one at home. Yep. Will we accomplish that feat at Idlewise? I don't know. I'm not gonna make any guarantees on that, but we need Spetzel and we need some Rouladen. And they might have the Rouladen already made, but we might have to have them make it and order it and pick it up like Saturday or something. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay guys, Mr. Bob and I spent the rest of the afternoon puttering around the house. He's been wrapping Christmas presents. I've been working on a new pattern and a new sweater. I don't have a pattern for it. So when I say a new pattern, I'm writing my own. I am inspired by, again, the round yoke sweater pattern. I'll link the original designer down below. Um, I've never done a round yoke before, but her pattern was excellent. Anyway, now of course I'm going running wild with it. We're gonna go for a walk. I would say quick walk, but these days since having the vid, I can't walk that quick. I start to get dizzy and sick. So we're gonna go for a walk though. We wanna see the neighborhood lights and it's only five o'clock and yeah, it's already dark out, <laughs> but that's okay. And we'll go back, have dinner and I'll keep working on my sweater. Cause you know, I'll be back. Oh, I'll put a picture of the sweater so far right here. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, we were kind of half worried about the holiday house because at Halloween, they normally put a lot of stuff out. They didn't put anything out, hardly. Like two things. And then not much for Thanksgiving either. No, and which they normally do all the holidays up in a big way. But I have to say, I'm gonna turn the camera on in a second, wait till you see. They did it all out for Christmas. The Frosty the Snowman. It's got Santa Claus. All the things. So cool. Okay, we're out walking the neighborhood. It's still dark. I know you can't see me well, but we walked past Side Street and saw this. So we thought we have to check it out. Because, wow, this neighborhood's got the spirit. Holy heck. It's fabulous. That's what I like about Christmas. People put out lights. Yeah, they get into the spirit, spirit. into the neighborhood. Yep. I love it. I wish people were like this all year round. Not necessarily with the lights, but you know what I mean. Just good natured. Good natured, yeah. Good neighborly, neighborly feelings people. and stuff. Yep. Cool. All right, we'll be back. And yes, I'm doing okay. I'm um, probably not going to do RT Trio again uh, for the end of this month, beginning of January. I'm probably going to wait another month just because, number one, now there's a lot of stuff to catch up on. And number two, I'm not quite over it yet. And I'm still having some issues with fatigue and vertigo and dizziness. And it's not all the time anymore, but it's enough that it's still an issue. So anyway, all right, let's go find some more lights. Hey guys, we haven't vlogged all day today because we've been oh, busy. Vlogged. I haven't crap. vlogged. 
Um, we spent the day babysitting, mostly. Yeah. We're also finishing up um, wrapping Christmas gifts and things like that. Although, Mr. Bob still hasn't wrapped my gifts. No, he did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, they're in your office still? They're, yes, I haven't brought them down. Okay, they're wrapped, but they're upstairs. Yeah. Anyway. So, I did write up um, the By the Beach Afghan pattern for patrons and supporters. And it is over on Patreon right now. So if you'd like a free copy, go join my Patreon. It's over there. It's very inexpensive. I post st stuff on the regular over there for them. Um, the link is down in the video description. And it's a great way to support the free content. And I would really love and appreciate it if you did that. Because YouTube pays squat. Anyway. Squat. Squat. Diddly. Diddly squat, yeah. We found out at the last minute we need a couple things for the family Christmas dinner tomorrow. We do do an early Christmas with the kids. And um, so we're making a run to the grocery store. It's dark, it's foggy. It's mysterious. It's mysterious, <laughs> I don't know about mysterious. Anyway, I'm doing a lot of vlogging in the dark this week. I'll try to see if I can edit the lighting in the video editor we'll see anyway uh, when we get back I'm gonna do some crocheting and working on my new cardigan project and um, that's all I can think of at the moment I've got some things to clean up and put away before tomorrow morning and then tomorrow's focused on of course cooking the dinner for the family dinner tomorrow so including the turkey finally finally cooking the turkey anyway all right we're gonna hopefully get to the grocery store at some point. Grab a few things. Yeah, grab a few things. See what we can see. I don't. We, we can't see much. It's pretty foggy out. Anyway, all right. I'll be back. It's nothing like talking to the camera and it's not on. Are you serious? Was it on? Seriously, wasn't on. So it is Friday. I almost did it again. December twenty second, not February. It's eleven thirty p.m. We celebrated Christmas with the children today. We had everybody over to exchange gifts and um, have dinner. We had the turkey we didn't have to get to have on Thanksgiving because Bob and I had the vid. Um, everything was great until my dad had an incident and he passed out and he hit the floor and we had to go to the ER. He's going to be fine, just FYI. But yeah, that was fun. Not. So, <laughs> I just want a quiet holiday. Can we just have a quiet holiday? Peaceful, happy. Anyway, <laughs> we're still up. We've got a couple things to do. The, although the kids put all the food away and washed every single dish in the house. We have to put everything away now and clean off the counters, but they did most of it. And thank you for that. We love them very much. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, anyway. I'm going to try to go to sleep now. Dad's upstairs. He's staying the night. We're going to make sure he's okay before he goes home tomorrow. We might end up taking him home. Yeah, all of that. All right. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Yes, we're in the car. Always. Always. <laughs> Always in a vehicle. Yeah. So we are out running a couple last minute errands, including picking up some. I say this while trying not to laugh. Use the right two lanes to exit right. Thank you, Marcia. Um, to go pick up some food for Christmas Day. It'll just be Bob and I. Not that we really need more food. The fridge is literally full as is a snack cabinet. But the kids did a great job putting everything away last night after our emergency. I five North Portland. Thank you, Marcia. And um, Dad is feeling better this morning. In fact, he was feeling normal. And um, he's headed home driving himself. We tried to do something. He insisted. Then he got done tired of me telling him what to do all night last night. Anyway. Um, the short story is he had too much to drink and was very dehydrated because he hasn't been drinking his water. And almost nothing to eat. 
you know, when you're young, you shouldn't do that, much less when you're 85 years old. So, people, drink your water. We're gonna make one last trip to the German market for the holiday season and go pick up some Berlatin and then go home and... Clean out the fridge. Yeah, because literally the kids, God love them, we love them very much. They did a great job last night, but they literally wrapped the turkey bones in the pan it was in and with the meat on it, with the meat on it and everything and just put the whole thing in the fridge. So yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, they did their best and we appreciate them for it. So anyway, all right, let's go get it done. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so first of all, most important news, my dad is fine. He's home. Um, he has a lady friend that lives next door to him, and I got her phone number for him, from him after lecturing him on a few different things. And I informed her of what happened and what, in my opinion, was at least part of the problem. And she and I had a very nice long discussion, and she's taking care of him. So... Um, between her and the rest of the family, we're monitoring things, but we're also saying WTF. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so I have been working on my sweater that you see on my shoulders. I did bring it to the ER with me last night, my crochet hook, which in the days of confusion and anxiety, I thought I lost my crochet hook, but then I found it. So, yay. Anyway, I finished the bottom of it and I did the ribbing and I just did the pockets. I did find some buttons and I think these will look okay. It is a little bit big on me, but I'm like, I think I'm okay with that. I wanted it to be sort of boyfriend style. Like if you just grabbed your boyfriend's sweater and put it on to go out the door, which means I did want it a little bit baggy. It will change shape a little bit when I block it, but yeah, here, let me show you. So it's gonna have ribbing down here with i think with these buttons since i have them i think that would be nice i have seven of them that's all i have so i want to use what i have so i'll have to figure out <clears throat> and i've never done crocheted buttonholes so that's going to be i need to watch some youtube but we've got the collar and i do think it's going to sit up sort of like this when we close it and we've got our pockets Oops, sorry. I haven't obviously sewed them down. And I've got some, I've got the ribbing. Yeah. So we have to do the, hold on. <laughs> I need to set you up more. There we go. Does that work? Maybe? I'm uh, short. Um, we've got the uh, ribbing around the bottom. I have a light bulb in here that keeps flickering, sorry. It's a little bit baggy around the back, but you know what? It is supposed to be a, a jacket and it is gonna have long sleeves. And so I, I, I'm okay with that. And I, I am actually, I really like it. So it's very comfy. It's gonna be really big and baggy. And if I don't have it buttoned, I can just kind of do this and be nice and warm and toasty. And it's premier chunky yarn. So, you know, I can wear it. Even though it's big, I can wear it with a pair of leggings and, you know? So anyway, I like it. Now I've got to make some notes on what I did last night in the ER and this morning, or this afternoon, because yeah, otherwise I'm going to forget. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this holiday season it hasn't exactly been the way I expected it to be. <laughs> But I was with family. I do love them very much. And they're such a great group of people. All of the kids, adopted or not, are just fabulous. And we love and appreciate all of you very much. Along with my friends and supporters, you guys are wonderful. I will say out loud, in case you all didn't get the idea, that when this first happened, we thought that my father had a heart attack or a stroke in my dining room. So he didn't, thankfully. But this is not the first episode like this he's had. So is something else underlying going on? I don't know. So um, we're going to have to look into that. He is going to be 85 years old. So there's that. All right.
on that note. Otherwise, it's been a great holiday, um, and we were so pleased to have the family around before that happened, um, and after, because they did help. The house, when we got back, was clean, and everything was taken care of, and no matter the time of year, whether it's the holidays or not, you know, family and loved ones are supposed to be there to help and support you, and ours definitely were, and I hope if, God forbid, something happens um, that you need help, that you have people there that are for you, there for you, um, and that you have a happy and wonderful holiday season, whatever holiday you celebrate. And uh, yeah, it's it's been interesting. If you want, oh, and I also put out the blanket pattern for patrons and supporters before all this craziness happened, which I don't know now if I said already or not. But anyway, it's on the Patreon page. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, go join my Patreon. It's only a couple bucks a month, and I sure would love the support. Um, you've already got access to me, monthly posts from me, probably more than I put on Facebook, to be honest. Um, and mostly because I like chatting with you all more. So anyway, um, go join Patreon. Check out the video description for ways to support the free content on my channel. I do have stamps with both Rubber Moon and Art Foamies. Um, they sell my designs over there. Yes, I do get a commission, but they do sell them over there, along with a lot of other really great stamps. They're both USA-based mom and pop companies, I believe, and really, really cool. So go check them out. Oh, take a deep breath. Remember, people love you. And go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Have a happy holiday. And I'll see you next week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. See you later. Bye, guys.